We're going to do a review on some bullet molds I got from a company called Cast Bullet Engineering. Uh, or Cast Bullet, yeah, Cast Bullet Engineering. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a company in Australia. Um, I, I, and they, they kind of specialize in molds uh, down there. The reason I use this company is because uh, they do have a few specific molds, some odd molds that you can't get anywhere else. <clears throat> and I bought a set of molds for the 11 millimeter brass. I'm going to start reloading for that and I need some bullets. Uh, you can use on some of the grass rifles a uh, the same bullet you use for the 43 Mauser should be sufficient but there's a guy in France that designed a bullet that he, he shoots uh, grasses and uh, chest bows and he designed a bullet and a fellow in England liked it he just had a drawing of the bullet and he contacted Cast Bullet Engineering and they made a cherry and now it's standard in their catalog. So I got it. It can be used for the 11mm grass and also the 71 Mausers. Uh, we'll get into that when we go into reloading, but I want to review the bullet mold in the company. <coughs> uh, they are in Australia. They have some specialty molds and uh, their molds are all in brass. That's all they make. That's the only choice you have is brass mold. And we'll zoom in here and we'll take a look at it. Uh, that's the box that comes in. Give you a box, the molds, and a set of Allen wrenches. I don't know if they're metric or not, but you just keep them in the box as good as gold. And here's the mold. Uh, the mold brass, it fits on, uh, they do fit on the large handles for like the four cavity pistol bolt molds, the lead handles, they fit on there. It's got the sprue plate, which is yeah. kind of, you got to cut out CBE in there. And as you can see, they're brass. Two cavity, you can get single two cavity molds basically for these large calibers. Uh, they have a whole series of molds for the uh, Enfield, British Enfield, or the Martini Enfield rifles. Uh, and they have some other odd specialty uh, bullets in there for some old obsolete black powder guns. And then they, they do have. Uh, molds for standard uh, calibers in there. They have a pretty extensive catalog. Uh, when I and I ordered it online, you, they got a, uh, an online website. You go there, they have the molds listed. I knew what I was looking for. I found it, and uh, you can order it online. Uh, use PayPal. So I got it with PayPal credit and. Uh, that way I can pay on it for six months interest free. Um, and the double cavity mold was $127 for the mold. And they do make top punches. So you can get top punches for them. Um, I also got a hardwood mallet, which was 10 bucks. I always wanted one of these, so I ordered it anyway. So I got the mallet. And the only hard thing is the uh, Postage is 46 bucks, so it'll come out to 178.77 as a total. Um, but uh, I did it online. I ordered it within 48 hours, because that was probably the middle of the night or something over in Australia. Within 48 hours, David is the guy. He emailed me back, said, "Hey, I got your molds. I cut them. Got your uh, what you ordered finished. Got it all done, and it's going into." You know, I'm delivering it to the post office later on today. And all in all, it took about three weeks to get here. We went from Australia and New York City and down here in North Carolina. And um, I don't think that's too bad. I mean, the guy, he had it in the mail within 48 hours of my order. So that's pretty quick for, for anyone. Okay. So I got the bill, card, sticker. Comes in a cardboard box. 
cardboard storage box. It's got the huh? It's got the mold and everything listed on there. So when you're done with the mold, you can put it back in this nice box. Everything is sealed in a plastic vacuum pack. The Allen wrenches are in one, and the molds in another. He also sent an instruction sheet, which I'll go over. So I've never used brass molds. I've either used steel or aluminum. And there's a couple of these companies, this is one, that only makes their molds out of brass. You can go to other companies, they give you a choice of the three materials, cast iron, aluminum, or brass. But this company, and I think there's another one that makes a lot of uh, molds for cowboy action, it's all brass. All right, it's just, and uh, it tells you here in the instructions, Basically, same thing. Before casting, remove everything, clean it, reassemble it, put a little lubrication on the sprue plate and that. Always ensure your handles uh, are the correct handles. Uh, some safety things now. It says here, breaking in. Brass modes seem to require a breaking period. Uh, we recommend you bring up your mold to temperature by casting 30 to 50 projectiles in it. Let it cool the room temperature. Repeat this process two to three times until the molds obtain a nice golden color to them. Um, each time the mold is used after breaking in, it only needs to be brought up to operating temperature. Temperature should be around 750 degrees. But that can depend on a number of factors. Do not allow the alloy to exceed 850 degrees as the molds may warp and become inoperable. Now, that's the only thing about brass molds. You've got to be careful not to overheat them. You can overheat steel ones and aluminum ones. It's kind of hard to overheat them, I think, unless, unless you're casting a very high temp. But I do remember everybody warns you with brass molds that they will warp. So it's good to have. i got a lead thermometer. I'm going to make sure that the pot is, doesn't go over 850. And... We're going to go easy and try to, to break it in. And, you know, it tells you different other things, wrinkle bullets, breaking in, uh, movement of the block. They also tell you brass is soft. So they tell you to be careful and, and try not to slam the mold shut. Just pay a little more attention because the uh, pins down in here will deform the holes on the other side. And you can kind of correct it by tapping the pins, the alignment pins out a little. But it says here in the instructions that most of the reasons people send the molds back is they don't line up or lock right is because they damage this other side here where the alignment holes are by, by closing the mold too quickly or being too rough with it. You know, once, once it's hot, you're not going to be able to grab it, but just take your time with it. So, this is the first set of brass molds I ever had. And a few other things, you know, there's a few things to look out at. Mold temperature, trying not to overheat it and breaking it in. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot, but you know they're they're not inexpensive. It's not like buying lean molds for 40 bucks. They're they're expensive molds, but again, like I said, he is covering an unusual bullet. It's not standard. You know, you're not going to find an equivalent for it. And unfortunately, a lot of times, that's, that's what happens when you get into something more on the line of a custom bullet mold, which isn't too bad. Uh, so we're going to give their molds a try, and I'll finish this up. And I'm going to follow the instructions and just, you know, I'm not going to show you all that. I'm just going to check the temperature, get the temperature right, cast up, you know, about 50 bullets, let it cool off. It might take me a couple of days, but uh, I'll, I'll make a second half of this here or whenever, probably tomorrow or whatever, and uh, finish this video up and show you what I ended up with. Okay, I uh, <clears throat> ran the break in most of the day today with the uh, cast bullet engineering bullet molds. Like I said, it's the first set of brass molds I had making a healed bullet for the 11 millimeter grass or it could be used in the uh, 7 millimeter. 
Mauser, also 43 Mauser. Uh, I did what they said, heated it up a little at a time, a couple times. And if you can look, there is a little bit of discoloration. As it heated up, it turned to a golden color in there. And after a couple tries, like just about with any other bullet mold, it ended up kicking out a really nice bullet. I'll hold them up. Uh, it casts a real nice bullet. I mean, full, sharp, sharp edges. Nice looking bullet. Uh, I like them. It's a high quality mold. Of course, you pay a little more. It's an odd. It's an odd. It's more or less like a custom bullet. They they got the cherry in their line uh, to cut these molds. And for the first time using a brass mold, I, I kind of like it. I may get another one in brass just to see the difference it once it breaks in and you get it up to temperature it casts more or less like a steel mold uh, makes a nice bullet so they're a high quality mold uh, you know they're not dirt cheap but I like it and uh, if I had the opportunity or if he has something else in his line I'll buy another one from him uh, and like I said, you know, some companies give you the option of brass. I was looking at another mold with another company. I might get one in brass just to see if it, if it uh, casts better than aluminum uh, does. But it looks okay. And the mallet, too. Uh, you know, if you can get one of these mallets, well worth it. I was using a soft-faced hammer for years, but the mallet, it's kind of nice. It's just right. So it was worth 10 bucks. But uh, cast bullet engineering, good customer service. I wouldn't be afraid to buy something from them. And their molds make a nice bullet.